What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna be going to Best Buy and I'm gonna see which Apple laptop I'm going to be buying. So it's between the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. And I know most of you guys don't know, but I just sold my iMac 27 inch. So with that money, I'm just gonna buy a laptop because having a desktop is kind of hard because I don't like sitting in one spot for hours at a time. So I'm gonna see which laptop I'm gonna buy today. Now let's go into the store. <laughs> Before we get started, make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Now, let's jump into it. And one of the reasons why I ended up moving from a desktop to a laptop is because I felt forced being in this room when it came to editing just because when you have a desktop, you have to be locked in that position only. Whereas if I have a laptop, I could go anywhere in the house. I could be in the backyard catching some sun. I could be in my living room watching TV at the same time. I could be anywhere I want around the house. While a desktop, you have to be sitting here at all times when you're editing or whatever you're going to be doing on the computer, which is cool sometimes because you do concentrate better when it's more quiet. But then there is times when I want to be in the living room with my family and I also want to edit at the same time. So I feel like for me, that was more convenient. And I think having a laptop just would be more productive and more efficient in my lifestyle. So now that now might pertain to you, but for me, I think it's going to be a good change now let me tell you why i ended up choosing the macbook air over the pro so some of you may know that both laptops came with the m1 chip that was released back in 2020. now the m1 chip is something that they included in both the macbook air and the macbook pro and it's funny because when it comes to both of them and comparing them they're both very similar now in previous years it would be a lot better off just going off with the pro model because it was a lot better in most areas now this year since they both have the same chip and a lot of the same things it's really hard to go with the pro when you could get the air and they both do basically the same thing for 300 dollars cheaper so you're going to be saving 300 dollars along the way if you do choose the air now the macbook air starts at 9.99 while the macbook pro starts at 12.99 they both start with 8 gigabytes of ram with 256 gigabytes of storage now you could bump up that ram to 16 gigs on either one and you can go to two terabytes and either one too the one i got right here is the one that comes with eight gigabytes of ram and 512 gigabytes of storage so i ended up going a little bit over the 256 that it usually comes with but i'm going to try my best not to go over that 512 gigabyte range and yes i know the pro does perform a little bit better over the air just by a tiny bit just because the pro does come with a fan so once the cpu and gpu start kicking in the fan turns on so it won't overheat the macbook air doesn't come with a fan which is why it can't really clock at higher speeds like the pro does so that's one of the benefits of having a fan in your laptop so both the air and the pro come with 13 inch screens 13.3 to be exact later on in the year they're going to be releasing the macbook pro 16 inch so if you want to wait for a bigger laptop then you should wait for that but right now, if you're trying to get a laptop, both are going to be the same thing at 13.3. The Pro does peak at 500 nits of brightness, while this one just peaks at 400 nits of brightness. I'm sure you're not going to be able to tell the difference unless you have both of them side by side. But other than that, if you're indoors most of the time doing your work, then peak brightness at 500 or 400 shouldn't be a big issue for you. Both offer True Tone technology as well, and both come with Touch ID. Now, this is the first time ever that I've had Touch ID on a laptop. And I feel like it's very convenient even when you just log in into your laptop, you just literally press your finger over the little button on the right side and it unlocks it for you. And it comes in handy as well if you're trying to buy something at the app store or if you're trying to 
sign in one of your passwords. You don't have to type it in. You can just place your finger over the button and it'll sign in for you. Now, the only thing that the MacBook does come with is a touch bar. Now, from what I've known and from what I've read and I've asked people around me who have the MacBook Pro, a lot of people don't use the touch bar just because it's kind of useless and it's only there just to raise the screen brightness, lower the volume, simple things like that. Whereas the MacBook Air, you do have the same thing, but it's not the touch bar. It ends up being physical keys. For me, I really don't mind that. That doesn't really bother me at the end of the day. Physical keys is a lot better for me. And if that ends up breaking, I think that's a lot cheaper to fix than a touch bar. Because I think if a touch bar breaks at one spot, I'm sure you're going to have to replace the whole thing. But like I said, I'm okay with the physical keys. Both laptops are super, super thin. The MacBook Air comes in at 2.8 pounds, while the MacBook Pro comes in at 3 pounds. Yeah, that's barely any difference, but... If you look at the MacBook Air from side to side, it is a really, really thin laptop. And for it being so powerful and having a very good chip inside, it's crazy how thin a powerful machine could be. Both have two USB Thunderbolt ports on the side, which is okay, I guess. But if you're somebody who likes to multitask and do more things that are connected to your laptop, then I suggest getting an adapter so that you could do more things to your laptop or you want to connect it to a monitor like I do right here behind me. So there you have it. I just wanted to tell you why I ended up moving away from a desktop to a laptop laptop and why I chose the MacBook Air over the Pro. Now I did list some reasons why I chose the MacBook Air. I didn't give out all the reasons but those are some general reasons why I ended up choosing that one and at the end of the day I think I'm going to be happy with my purchase. Before you guys leave this video make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. So take care and I'll see you guys next time.